Hey you guys, it's your girl Amelia Janae and I'm coming to you right before the weekend so I'm ready to kick it off with you. Um, with your hot topics with no advisory. So if you want the scoop, you know what to do. Huh? Too much of your time because like I said I know it's the weekend it's my son's birthday so we all got things that we want to do all right but let's just get into it so around the nation we still have people speaking out people are um, my folks let me tell y'all you are holding it down okay Minneapolis y'all are holding it down we are still praying we're praying for the city we're praying for the state we're praying for the country y'all George Floyd you are still heavy on our mind, brother. I, y'all, this hit a lot of us deep. As this case continues to move on, we are starting to find more pieces to the puzzle. So apparently there's additional footage that came about and it was more officers that were actually on George Floyd. So we know about the one officer with his knee to on the neck but then you have other officers that's holding him down by his feet. Other officers that's like an officer that's holding him down by the torso. Like dudes, just think about this. I know he's a big man. We saw that. But at this point, when y'all have him on the ground, he's handcuffed. So I'm trying to figure out if it's one of him and plenty of you guys, what threat is he? Maybe tell me something I don't know, because at this point, I can't see it. Y'all have the weapons. Y'all have the guns. Y'all have everything. And it's one of him. It's one of, it's one George, and he's down on the ground. Maybe it's something I'm not getting. Now he's calling out that he can't breathe, but we're still, oh, he's still talking. He's good. But you're supposed to serve your community? I think not. But on a lighter note, um, the officer, Derek Chauvin, I think Chauvin, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He was arrested. He has been charged with third degree murder. That's still not enough. But that's something. He has been arrested. He has been charged. Um... We still have a long way to go. We still have a long way to go, but I promise you, we're we going to fight this to the end. Um, his autopsy came back. Now, get this. It revealed that there was no findings that supported a diagnosis, diagnosis, of, diagnosis of traumatic asphyxia. Now, that's the same thing as strangulation. They're saying um, it was a combination of force and health problems that contributed to his death. No, it was a combination of that. Knee to his neck. I don't care what health problem. We all got health problems. But at the same time, he still needs to be held accountable because he's triggered this. So what we're not going to do is start looking for excuses. That's not what, that's, if you really want to make us mad, that's not what to do. That's not what we're about to do. Um, and that it also showed that, um, George Floyd and this same officer actually worked at the same nightclub. Like they both worked at a, the same Latin nightclub with overlapping shifts. So now some people are starting to think like, was this premeditated? Like, was there some tension already between the two? Did he even know him? Like, and I'm not going to say it was, and I'm not going to say it wasn't, but that's, that's interesting to know that. Y'all worked at the same place. Um, your president is trying to clean up his word. So just recently he jumped on Twitter and he was like, these subs are dishonoring the memory of George Floyd, blah, blah, blah. He even told the mayor, like, I'm going to bring in the military and, um, they'll be able to help because where there's looting, there's shooting. What does that mean? Where there's looting, there's shooting. Like who's about to do the shooting? You just said you're about to bring in military and where there's looting, they'll be shooting. But now you're trying to clean up your words and he's saying, no, that's not what I meant. I meant when there's looting, some people 
tend to shoot. I guess the thugs, you say. So, and he's just trying to protect. No, no. You know, at this point, y'all, I'm over. I'm over the president. I'm over. I'm over racist. I'm over all of it. Enough is enough. Like I said, my black people have had enough. We are continuing to pray for George Floyd. Y'all, this Sunday, there will be the versus challenge versus battle between Kirk Franklin and Fred Hammond. At this time, it's this not even a battle. This is what we need. They're calling it the healing, and I promise you, this is this is this is what we need right now. We need to take a break. We need to reflect on what's the what's big. So you guys, I'm not trying to waste any more of your time. Y'all have things to do. I have things to do. Thanks for holding it down with me this week. I will catch y'all next week as we kick off the month of June. Um, peace out.